All of you, no doubt, followed eagerly the huge power outage in India. More than 600,000 people left in the dark without electricity. Traffic jams, hospital problems, and all of the confusion and chaos that follows. In this case, compounded because it happened in a large part of a subcontinent which claims to be an emerging superpower, whatever that means. What was missed in all of this was the unwritten news about close to half a billion Indians who had no clue about the power outage. These are the people of large parts of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Orissa in the north who have no electricity to begin with. Yes, they still live with candles and lanterns and Petromax lamps. They burn wood and cow dung for fuel to cook food and heat water, contributing to a massive smog that is melting glaciers in the nearby Himalayas. Without electricity, of course, health clinics cannot function at optimum because you need refrigerators to store medicines. And how do children study in the dark? Any wonder, then, that India's functional illiteracy is about 70%. So, of course, while the rich fired up their diesel generators during the power outage and the Ambani family in Mumbai did not see even one of its several hundred refrigerators stop functioning in the 40-story family skyscraper. For the people I have described in the north, it was a normal day. Wasn't it William Blake, the English poet, who wrote, Some are born to sweet delight, some are born to endless night. Think about it. I'm Zohair Kashmiri.